What's going on, guys? Black Scout Survival Late Night Live. Thanks for tuning in. And tonight, we're going to be talking about something that has been a long time coming. Uvalde suspends this entire school police force. The uh, guys probably remember the school district in Uvalde, Texas, said on Friday that it has suspended the operations of its police department amid ongoing questions about its officers' response to the mass shooting at Robb Elementary School. We covered this in depth, um, and you can go watch those videos. We showed videos of the, you know, the cops lack of response and these sort of things. And, you know, parents have actually been protesting uh, daily um, since the shooting and the, the subsequent <laughs> response. And this actually has led to a lot of other schools where parents try to, there's been like, uh, I guess, uh, calls of mass shootings that it really wasn't a mass shooting, but parents try to rush into the school. And this is all because the the lack of response from Uvalde Police Department. And so parents here have been rightfully protesting, as they should be. I mean, the whole town, America, should be protesting about the lack of this police uh, response. And so the school district actually had previously fired the, the department chief, Peter Arredondo. We, we've talked about him quite a bit. He was actually the incident commander during the the uh, shooting and uh he was ultimately responsible for delaying the confrontation with the gunman for over an hour after the shooting began the gunman had killed 19 children that day and two teachers um again we beat this horse to death go watch those videos but i can't you know obviously he was incident commander and he has a ton to blame for this but also the officers involved we saw just terrible uh, lack of response, you know, just coward behavior from those officers at the school. We've seen the footage. I mean, they were literal cowards. One guy standing there uh, looking at his phone while his wife is getting shot, uh, you know, 20 feet away and doesn't try to go in there and, and save her. So, but before we go any further with that, I just want to make a, a point that we should never make blanket statements about the actions of one or some to uh, speak about everyone in a profession or race or whatever it may be. Because I think a lot of people in today's age get polarized by things and they make blanket statements about people. All cops aren't good because Uvalde. Well, that's not true. Um, there are good constitutional cops. I, I've met a ton of them. A lot of them are followers of mine. They message me, they're customers, and we talk a lot and you know, they're in it for the right reasons. Um, but there's some cops, like the COVID cops, if you remember, they were locking people up for trying to keep their businesses open. You know, uh, I've seen video footage, uh, Anarchy Tattoo out of New York would send, you know, me video of, of cops going in there harassing him for keeping, you know, keeping his business open, um, not wearing a mask inside of his own business. And this sort of nonsense, we saw Guys hanging on the beach, paddleboarding, out in the ocean by themselves, get arrested, right? Hey, Nelson, thanks, buddy. He's a tribe member, by the way, so thanks, Nelson. We we saw a dude paddleboarding. I showed a picture a few weeks ago on the live. Paddleboarding, and he got arrested, literally, like by himself out in the ocean. Um, we saw people get arrested for not wearing masks out at, like, football game. I saw a mother get slammed, and I want to say she got tased for not wearing a mask at a high school football game, right? And, 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 and we all know how just much nonsense all this COVID stuff was anyway. But we saw these terrible things happening to these folks. We saw parents getting arrested at, at school board meetings because they didn't want their kids sitting in masks all day, suffocating, right? Um, and you know, then you, you have, even before all this nonsense, I've ran into them quite a bit, cops were like short man, uh, complexes there uh we're probably getting uh you know they have authority issues some of them have authority issues they're probably bullied and picked on in school they're probably never played a sport of their life nobody no chicks liked them and they you know were not cool and now they get a badge and a gun and now they're you know mr tough guy we've seen those guys too um but then you have uvalde cops who are just straight out cowards that that they didn't even attempt to save life right when there was a ton of them with AR-15s, ballistic shields, armor, the kids had nothing. And we saw those type of cops. So, so 
these are some of the bad cops that I'm talking about. And I could go on. We've got cops that take people off in alleys and beat them, you know, or, you know, 20, 20 cops jumping on one guy, beating him half to death. We have these sort of things. We have got cops that plant evidence on people. There are bad cops out there. There's bad in every group of people, right? So I, I want to caution you to try to lump all those police together and say, all oh, police aren't good. Uh, you know, don't let the actions of a few, uh, you know, represent the many. Okay. I, I just want, I just wanted to say that before we go any further, because I know a lot of people will go on this anti-cop rhetoric. Let the leftists do that kind of stuff, the defund the police and all that sort of things. Have, be smarter than that, right? I, I think a lot of people are so in such an extreme mindset where they're like, and we're going to get into this in a minute, where people look for kings uh, to worship and they just, they, they get blanket statements all over groups of people. There are a lot of good cops out there. There's cops that risk their lives every day. You know, they want to do the right thing. There's dirtbags in the military. There's good guys in the military, right? There's dirtbags in the Marines. There's good guys in the Marines. There's dirtbags in the SEALs. There's good guys in the SEALs. Every faction of society has good and bad. So let's not blanket statement. Don't do that. Don't be like leftists and do that. Umbra tribe member. Thanks, buddy. And yeah, join the tribe, guys. We'll talk about the tribe towards the end there. So, but according to the state in investigatory, uh, investigatory committee report, there were failures of the police response. And this ex extended beyond Mr. Aaron Dondo. It included many of the officers from local, state, and federal agencies who similarly did not follow standard police training, which calls for officers to rush and confront an actively shooting gunman. Now, I showed this. I talked about this. If you remember, if any of my loyal followers, I got so much backlash from saying this. I even showed their training manual. I had people emailing my customer support of my company, which is we, we sell products, tactical and survival products. They're emailing them saying that I was a dirtbag for talking bad about cops. I was talking about bad about these sorry excuses for cops. I showed that it stated in their SOP, their standard operating procedures, that even if you're by yourself, and you hear Officer Tatum, Officer uh, Bootlicker, would say, oh, they're waiting for backup. It's dumb to go in there, right? And I'll get to that point in a second. But in their training, it says, that you were supposed to go even if you're the only person there to go seek out that shooter, right? And I showed this, but people people are so dumb. Yeah, and these people are conservatives. These are conservative. That's why the black I, whatever's beyond a black pill, I need to find out what that is because I'm so I'm I'm beyond. I was actually talking to my friend Mark over at Center Line Systems today on the phone. I'm beyond black pill, beyond black pill because conservatives are, and, and I don't even know if they're. they're, they're far gone extremes i don't know what they are but e even them you know they can't even think for themselves anymore like people cannot even think for themselves anymore they just go along with whatever the most extreme thing they hear is and that's on both sides of the paradigm but it doesn't say it didn't say the training manual because the argument was like i see people say that in the emails that would get sent to us or the messages on facebook or wherever it was well oh, they were waiting for shields to get well the training didn't say to wait for freaking shields did it it didn't say that it didn't say all right don't go in until you get your shields, right, um, to engage. Is it the best circumstance to go in there without shields? Hell no, it ain't. No, it ain't. But you don't always get the best circumstances in a gunfight, unfortunately. Um, the kids didn't have shields. The kids didn't have the best circumstances. They didn't have body armor. Oh, they're waiting for body armor. Kids didn't have body armor. Oh, waiting for AR-15. Kids didn't have AR-15. You got a pistol, right? You got to deal with the cars that's dealt. Lives are at stake. And that's the difference between a hero and a coward, right? Sometimes heroes get killed. And uh, that's what separates people. Are you willing to put yourself in to give up everything, which is your life, to do the right thing? That's what make, That's the difference between a man and everybody else. He's willing to give up everything he loves to do the right thing. And uh, w willing to go all the way. And if you're not willing to go all the way, then get rid of your badge. If you're not willing to go all the way. Or get rid of your, your uniform if you're in the military. Hang up your doll tags. Right? Um, their training protocol said that. Why did it say that? Well, it says that because 
That's how you stop loss of life. There's a bad guy shooting. It takes a good guy to come stop him. A magic fairy ain't going to appear and say, hey, man, just stop the shooting. Or he's just going to think, oh, I should stop shooting right now. You know? Hey, uh, Jason Mimosa, um, thanks, brother. Um, nothing love for you guys, too, man. Appreciate it. I lost your message somewhere, but I can see it. There it is. Will do, brother. Thank you for the super chat. These are all tribe members. Great group of guys over there. You should join the tribe and hang out with these guys. My pill is Jesus. That's right. We're going to, we're going to talk about that, too, here in a little bit. Um, Ryan, thanks, man. Appreciate it, brother. Um, Dakota, he's asking about this question. Thanks, Dakota. Do you think the cops that stop parents from going in the same their kids should be charged with accessory to murder? I mean, I, I think they should be charged with something. Why were they why were they so concerned about stopping the parents and not the gunman? You know what I mean? While were while were there were like four hundred officers there, while weren't four hundred guns going into that room trying to get their way into the room to go kill this guy. You, you know what I mean? Nelson, thanks, buddy. Yeah, there's no way I'd be able to sit there, too. And that's actually going to bring up an next interesting point here in a second. Um, so on Friday, the school district said that in a statement that it had placed officer who took over for Aaron Dondo, Lieutenant Miguel Hernandez, actually, um, and another district employee, actually both of those on administrative leaves, Ken Mueller was the administrative, uh, I'm sorry, the other district employee, and he has actually said he was going to retire from this event, which is good. Get him out, get him out of there. We don't need these clowns. They go on to say recent developments have uncovered additional concerns with department operations. Quote, quote, the district said in explaining its decision, the statement did not detail what those developments were. I really like to know what the developments, the developments were because I bet the public would flip out if they knew for them to take such an extreme measure. It must be something just very nasty. And you had officer Tatum relentlessly, on like eight, 10 videos, Instagram every day, defending these Uvalde cops. Like he, he dirt bag. I hate to knock conservatives, but I don't even know if he's conservative because you, you if you're going to support nonsense, like completely in a line, like you got to be a free thinker. I get back to police and all that sort of thing. But when the police ain't doing right, you don't back them, right? You don't back anybody that's not doing right. No matter if they're on your, your side of the field or not, right? The Obama, thanks brother i would like to know what they were though so so they've been having like i said long-running protests at the district offices um, by several other relatives of the victims sometimes blocking employees from getting in the building good block them right war wrath thanks all these tribe members good to see you guys here look we weren't even there we were not even there guys imagine if we had been there and we were one of the parents and we saw this 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 nonsense of all these 400 officers sitting out there arresting parents and, and not going inside do you, do you could you imagine like we're we're pissed off from what we saw on the interwebs could you imagine being there and and, and seeing this firsthand we'd probably be out there every day there's one guy who camped out there for nine days literally he put up a tent and camped We'd probably be camping out there too if we had seen it firsthand. You know. Thanks, thanks, Roy. Appreciate it, man. No doubt, no doubt. So uh, the school district also notified staff members and parents on Friday that the superintendent Hal Harrell planned to retire. Also, look, you see how much just just dirt is going. On? All these retiring, you know, retiring and uh, just cover up something. Something's very nasty about this. And everybody's trying to get as far away from it. There's something terrible about this. Right. Um, and see, he planned to retire anyway, he said, but he said he'd go ahead and retire. And this was during a set, a closed door session during a school board meeting, not allowed to the public on Monday. Um, probably because they're like, hey, guys, we've got to hurry up and clean this up. It's getting bad. Um, thanks, Dakota. Yeah, man, ain't nobody stopping me from my kids either. Uh, absolutely. So the suspension, the suspension of the police department, um, which consisted of these five officers, Lieutenant Hernandez and the security guard, and followed revelations. Now, to get this, 
that the school district over the summer hired a former Texas Department of Public Safety officer who had been among the first at the scene, who had been the first, one of the first at the scene at the Robb Elementary School, but did not move to confront the government. This young lady right here, Crimson Elizondo. And her police body cam footage, guys. Do I have her here? Let me see. I think I didn't get the photo. In her police body cam footage, guys, she can be seen with gun drawn outside the school right here, right? This is her. This is right as soon as the shooting was happening. She's standing outside the school. There was other footage which appeared to be from her own body camera suggesting that if it was one of her kids inside that she would go ahead and go in the school, that she wouldn't be standing outside the school like that. So she's saying that she, as she's waiting outside the school, says she wasn't going in. But now if it was one of her kids in there, you best believe she had been in there. She said, if my son was in there, I would not be outside right now waiting. She said, I promise you that. So obviously parents recognized her, flipped the freak out because they go up to the school, dropping their kids off and see this young lady up there at the school again after she's making statements about well as long as it ain't my kids getting killed I ain't, I ain't too much worried about it you know and so she was fired on thursday which is good that's her get a good get a good look at her face if you live in that area you, you recognize her get a good look at her so according to emails and other paperwork provided by the Department of Public Safety, the Uvalde school police supervisor who had been directly involved in hiring her, Lieutenant Hernandez, had been informed that Elizondo was one of the several officers who were under an investigation by the state police and actions inconsistent with training and department requirements. She got hired at the school after this while she was under investigation. So, so this happens a lot with police and police guys can, can tell me. It, it uh, can can say the same thing and that if a cop, like let's say she knows she's under investigation, she goes and has and go ahead and leaves. She can go get another job as a cop, right? As long as she's not fired, she can keep her credentials up. That's what a lot of them do. They get in trouble and they wind up leaving, going get another job with their credentials so they're not taken from them. Um, but don't you forget, guys, that they wanted to ban guns, Beta Rourke and all these people. Blame guns for this travesty that happened, not the police failure, right? The cowards, like there must be something in the water there, uh, like just a bunch of cowards there. But they wanted, they wanted to blame guns, ban guns. They're still talking about it, All right? You had Matthew McConaughey up at the White House, scumbag. I used to like, I used to like his movies, scumbag up there. You know, why, why do we care about what an actor thinks? No, I don't want, I don't want to hear anything about what he is. His job is literally acting, right? I don't want to. I don't want to hear what, what his thoughts are. He doesn't have a thought of his own. If you ever notice The Rock, The Rock is the same in every movie. Every every time you see him anywhere, he's the same. He's in character twenty four seven, right? He's an actor. That's what these guys do. They're in character all the time, right? Um, Ryan Harkins, sorry, Mister Super Chat Man, thanks, buddy. Um, been busy, you say? Um, yeah, man, putting myself out there. Yeah, thanks, brother. A lot, of, a lot of you guys aren't brainwashed yet, and I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, Dakota, thanks, man. Does anybody know how many federal agents were amongst the 400? I find it very odd that there was a, there was a bunch of federal agents there. I don't know how many exactly, um, but there, there was. I'm sure they're not going to say, but some of them were fired as well. So, or they're under investigation. Real quick, I want to talk about Putin. Uh, Russia, uh, real quick, Vladimir Putin has accused Ukraine. You've probably seen the uh, bridge explosion. Um, he's uh, accusing Ukraine of attacking this bridge that uh, was leading to Russian annex Crimea, or Crimea, however you said, saying it was an act of terrorism. Um, Oscar, thanks, brother. Putin said that Ukraine's intelligence forces had aimed to destroy the critically important piece of Russian civil infrastructure. And so I've got it here. Where is it at? Boom, boom. So you see here on the left, the bridge, and then uh, footage of the bridge the following day blown up. Blown up right in the middle. Obviously, this was attack uh, to shut down him moving weapons, troops, these sort of things. 
Um, and so Putin went on to say, there's, there's no doubt this is an act of terrorism aimed at destroying Russia's critical civilian infrastructure. Russia has used this bridge to move military equipment, ammunition, and personnel from Russia to battlefields in southern Ukraine. Um, here, we got a map here. <clears throat> and so the video, um, <clears throat> if you, you can see that, you can see where it leads to that area over there on the side of Russia. So that's, that's where it is on the map. So the, the video I, I would suggest you go watch. I don't want to put it on here because obviously these folks on YouTube do not like anything right now. They're tripping. Anything they get you on right now, just be careful. If you're a YouTuber, just be careful anything you post, like video-wise. They're trying to get you on anything right now if you're on the right side. Now, if you're on the left, you can you can literally post up anything you want, and it doesn't matter. You know, little kids twerking with, with uh, naked men, and they're okay with it. <clears throat> but if you post up an uh, explosion, something that happened in the news, and, oh, you're a bad guy, you know. So go search the video. Um, it showed a truck, and allegedly this truck was from the Russia city Krasnodar, <laughs> and it was an hour's drive away, moving west during the bridge at the time of the expl explosion. Uh, real quick, Ryan. Yeah, I think right now, because it's on such huge sale, that they're uh, such a big sale, like a, they cut it in half almost. My code is not working. So it, it, right now it's on sale. Uh, it's just such a good sale. I would jump on it because even my discount code doesn't knock it down this much. Sorry, I can't talk tonight, guys. I'm having trouble if you hadn't noticed. I'm kind of tired. But anyway. The footage shows that a huge fireball erupts just behind the truck. Just go go watch the video and you'll see what I'm saying. It explodes right behind the truck and off to one side. I To me, it looks more like a charge place under a bridge. It doesn't like it's coming from the truck at all. They're trying to say it's some kind of explosive device on the truck. I don't believe it. I think it was something placed under the bridge and blew the bridge up because the way it the truck didn't blow up. It blew up like under the truck. You just look at the video and you can look at it, right? But uh, it looks like they were just trying to knock it out, obviously. The, they're trying to say that they didn't do it. Nobody did it. America didn't do it. America probably did it. Or Ukrainian Special Forces, one of the two. Um, also, the other day we were talking about the Armageddon, nuclear Armageddon. The White House quickly walked back. Um, his uh, Biden statements about that saying nuclear arm again, they said it was extremely irresponsible. And the White House is saying this about the, the, the president, right? He's not, because he, he's, he, d d him and the vice president, Kamala, are terrible, vice president, are terrible at following the scripts, right? They, they go off on tangents and they're constantly having to walk back statements they made. Like they're terrible actors. Like they should really just get Hollywood actors like they did in Ukraine, like Zelensky. <laughs> just get an actor to come fill a job, right? It'd be better. Get that lady from the show Vice to be the vice president, you know. She'd be better at it, reading the script. But they were saying it's completely irresponsible that Biden uh, said these remarks. Like they're gonna, he's gonna lead us into a, a literal nuclear war by making these kind of statements and also the statements about the decapitation strike on, on putin like these things should not be said right um let me let me play a, a trump actually address this real quick negotiation of a peaceful end to the war in ukraine or we will end up in world war three and there will be nothing left of our planet all because stupid people didn't have a clue they didn't have a clue they don't understand they really don't understand i rebuilt our military i rebuilt our nuclear power they don't understand what they're dealing with the power of nuclear they have we must demand the immediate and, and uh he, he's not wrong okay about not understanding the power of nuclear he actually did rebuild our nuclear arsenal because it was so outdated i mean it was like 40 or 50 years outdated like he retrofit all of them during his presidency thank god because we would get out nuked um but he did do that they did not want to do that actually they were wanting to dismantle our nukes like why in, in the freak would you do something like that it's, it's mind-boggling how they want us to go ahead and bow down to the world economic forum get in your cage and eat your cricket <laughs> it's it's crazy but anyway 
I want to, I want to, I want to puzzle you. I just want to give you this question, right? R riddle me this. If um, Biden is has been known to have Chinese ties, we know that, and uh, we know he's done business. He's, he's got his son's got ties there with the uh, electric vehicle batteries, and uh, they're probably tugging his strings, right? So who would benefit most if Russia and the U.S. got into a nuclear conflict? Let me know in the comments. China. They would benefit the most, right? Because they could potentially take over as a world superpower like a light switch. So how do we know that they're not pushing these sort of things, right? It, it would make the most sense to me. Pushing us into a, a conflict. Hey, Biden, say this. You know, we got these photos of you and your son with little girls. We're going to post online. You need to say this. You know, it's a theory. I don't know if it's true. It's a theory. Anyway, thing is, I saw a comment the other day on a video, on my last video. People were like, You don't know nothing about Putin. How can you say something bad about Putin? He's a great man, he's the leader. Well, um, I don't like Putin. I don't. Do, do I like, does that mean I like Joe Biden? Hell no, I don't. I don't know why I have to pick between both, right? Um, people look for kings. It's, it's so weird. People look for, they want someone to worship. It's Trump. It's, it's who, whoever they can worship, right? Because I don't like Biden, I'm supposed to love Putin. Look, does Putin say things that I agree with? Absolutely. His speech the other day, I agree with it. M most all of it, right? Um, but his character shows he's not a good man. He's not a good man. Can I agree with someone who's not a good man? Yeah. I can agree with someone who I don't agree 100% on. I don't know why people think you have to agree with someone completely. It's nuts. Like, this is where we are. And you need to go ahead and take the black pill, too. Like, it's never coming back. Get your, your guns, your food, your water. Get your network, because it's never going back, because there's too many idiots out here. I saw the average IQ is actually below that of a gorilla at this point. No, no kidding. It's a study that you just Google it. The average IQ of Americans are below the, that of a gorilla. So, so that's where we are. Um, thanks, Nelson. Yeah, I, I do believe that, too. The Nord Stream was um, attacked by Ukraine, too. So you can agree with things Putin says. He said he doesn't want a world economic forum take over global totalitarian government. However, however. He doesn't want that, but I guarantee if he was in charge of the totalitarian government, he'd be all for it. He's not He's not for freedom. He wants to be in charge of it, of course, right? If you gave him that option. Um, his character doesn't show he's a good man, though, right? Does that mean I like Zelensky? Hell no, nah, he's an actor. He's, he's paid to be there by America, and Ukraine is some kind of shell for money laundering. I don't, I don't know. That's the theory, too. I don't know. But... I think we, we can agree that Putin is right on some things. Biden is right about nothing. Um, and uh, yeah, the the same end goal of being anti-totalitarian government. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. I agree with that. And a lot of things he said, if you don't know, one of the video I'm talking about the other day, he did a speech and he's talking about the, you know, the America's being ruled, you know, going towards Satanism. I, I believe that 100% look at it, look around, right? I would say quit looking for kings, though. People look for kings. People look for people to worship, right? There's only one. Jesus. Jesus is king, man. Everything else is... Men are men, right? It doesn't matter if you take someone at a high level. Poop. He's no different. He can die no... He can die just as easily as you or I. He has to eat food just like you or I. He has to drink water just like you or I, right? Kind of like, let's say, LeBron James, right? Arguably... He's a good basketball player. I dislike him, but I can credit give him credit. He's a good basketball player, right? He would beat me in basketball. But if I took him out behind the basketball uh, arena and we got into a, a street fight, I would dominate him, right? If we got into a gunfight, I'd dominate him. Um, you know, that's the thing. Like, just because someone's good at one thing or in some position, he's got more money than me, whatever. They're, they're so men, right? They're, they're, there's no one to worship. I see guys worshiping people. people someone makes cool content. Oh, they know everything. I see these these uh, SEAL, SEAL guys like doing CQB 
in a complete open, like just plywood board. That's not real CQB. CQB is in, inside buildings where stuff is, or you run into a hole, like you're doing CQB in your house, and you trip over a couch, a bed. There's actually furniture in there, right? If you're seeing someone do CQB in an empty room, stop watching. Only watch people who do CQB, CQB close quarters battle, when there's a, uh, stuff, furniture in a room, because that's reality. You know what I'm saying? Quit looking for kings to worship, right? And question everything. Question even my content. Go look for yourself. Quit just believing and sucking up and absorbing everything you see and hear online, right? That's how you get led down the wrong path. Everyone's content. Every news source. A lot of people say you're just re repeating the media. I don't watch mainstream media. I don't even know what they say. I don't watch Tucker Carlson. I don't watch nothing. Not that I have anything against them. I just don't watch them because I don't want to get biased. I have my alternative media sources that I get my information from, then I research myself so that way I come to my own conclusions instead of the narrative that's being pushed to be brainwashed, right? And you can do that if you want to. Just make sure you're checking, you're double checking all the info you're getting, right? I could be wrong too. Who knows, right? Anyway, I think that, like I said, I'm black pilled. It's gone. You know what I'm saying? It's it, like I, I don't see it coming back, especially the amount of uh, cons conservative. I guess they're conservatives. I don't know what they are. Maybe they, uh, this is gone overboard. You know what I mean? Attacking conservatives. I see more conservatives attacking conservatives than I do them attacking leftists. Or le leftists never attack leftists. I never see that. Conservatives are attacking conservatives more. They're eating their own, while leftists is just growing and multiplying. And conservatives are eating each other. It's, it's wild, trying to destroy each other. It's crazy. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. So if you're if you're wondering who's next, the next, if Kamala's president next time, or Biden, if you're if you're in this type of habit of attacking other conservatives, that's why. You're you'll be the reason why Biden or Kamala or Newsom will be president next time because people like you know that. So what my suggestion is right now: find a network of people. If you don't have one, you can join our tribe. We have a network of people there. And the thing is, we have guys in there. We actually have guys that are, you know, they're specialists in certain things. They're creating their own courses, education stuff in there. Just start, we just started that section of the, um, the tribe now. So they're putting up stuff and we vet and make sure all these, you know, all the education is actually accurate. But, uh, I'm a jack of all trades guy. I've always have been, pun intended. But I try to be that way because I think you should be a jack of all trades, right? But then we have some guys that are specialty in, in certain things like communications and stuff like that. Also, if you join the tribe at the commando level, you'll get a free uh, survival, escape, and invasion type uh, training, uh, feature feature length film to view right now. If you join right now, you'll be able to watch it right now. Great for your family and friends and stuff like that. Y'all can watch together. But I suggest you join in the tribe, get with us, get a network because it doesn't look good. It doesn't, doesn't like it. it's ever going back. It's only going to get worse, right? And you need to have people you can count on and depend on. Anyhow, guys, let me know your thoughts below. Let me know your thoughts about is China trying to push us to this war in Russia and your thoughts on the Uvalde police. Is it, was, is it too late? Is it, is it should have happened sooner? Of course it should have. Let me know your thoughts. Anyhow, guys, remember to stay frosty, strapped, and dangerous. Take care.